Let me show you the best representation of studying that I have ever found. I call it the chair. Very creative. <laughs> the first thing I want to say about the chair is that it doesn't apply to every part of your studying. In cases where you're comfortable with your studying, you know what's going on, you're on track, and everything's fine, your studying is more likely to feel like this. But in situations where you're studying topics that you struggle with, you're in lectures where you're not really understanding stuff, you're behind, you don't know what's going on, you're doing questions and you're getting the stuff wrong, you don't know what's happening, you don't know what to do, you don't know how to fix it. When you're doing tests and exams, those are the situations about our studying that feels like the chair. I work with my study mindset and study strategy students on dealing with the chair. So what's the difference between the stuff that you're okay with, the stuff that feels like this, and the stuff that feels like the chair? What is the difference there? Now, it's very easy for you to say, oh, well, you know, some stuff I struggle with and some stuff I don't. Fine. But what is it? What is the underlying issue here? One, uncertainty. Two, not knowing the answer. In situations where you are uncertain or you don't know, you don't know what's going on, you don't know the answer, those are the situations that feel like the chair. Studying long hours, tough hours, tough questions, tough topics, tough lectures, we are okay with that. I mean, we may not love it, but we are okay with these if we know what's going on. It doesn't matter what the topic is. It doesn't matter what the subject is. It doesn't matter what the content is. It doesn't matter what lectures we're in, how late it is at night. We can deal with it. It's okay. But when we move into any topic, even a topic we've always loved, and uncertainty hits, I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I'm not sure if I'm going to get this right. I don't know how to fix this. What is going on here? When uncertainty strikes, when you're in a situation or you know you're going to be in a situation where you don't know, that's when it starts feeling like the chair, right? And for me, that's such an important difference because it's not tests that you hate. It's tests where you know that you don't know what's going on. If I gave you a test on something where you knew the answer, you wouldn't be as stressed out. It wouldn't feel as bad. If I made you sit in a four-hour lecture with work that you're comfortable with, it wouldn't feel as bad. But if I put you in a one-hour lecture with a topic that you really struggle with, you don't know what's going on, you don't know how to fix it, you don't know if it's ever going to come right, that feels like the chair. So for me, it's so important that you understand the difference between the stuff that you're struggling with and the stuff that you're not struggling with, it is that you are not okay with uncertainty. You are not okay in situations where you don't know. You don't know the answer. You don't know what's going on. You don't know if you're going to fix it.